2011, Christchurch was struck by a deadly 6.3 magnitude earthquake, killing 185 people and leaving thousands injured. Buildings and homes were destroyed, leaving families homeless. Liquefaction flooded the streets and landslides crushed cars and local shops. Christchurch was left unrecognisable and still is with heaps of buildings still left to rebuild. Four years later and Christchurch is still in the process of rebuilding what was taken away from them. Wellington has been predicted to have massive earthquakes in the near future because we are located right on the fault line. With these predictions, we want our girls at Wellington East to make sure we are prepared for an earthquake so we can act fast and hope for the best. Here are some of our girls' opinions on what we at East should do to prepare for an earthquake. Made it better. Bigger desks for those islanders who can't get under the desks. <laughs> <laughs> um, people can bring like food. Yeah, like canned food. Yeah, like canned food for like and everyone. Like, oh, storage and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like more uh, practices. Drills. For like drills. Stuff. So everyone like knows exactly where to meet. Like, you know, have um have random practices like have the bell go on and then that means it's an earthquake. So we'd have to, you know, if people are outside do like drop, cover, hold. If you're inside, you know, under the desk if you can fit. And I think like um like the teachers need to work more on telling us what will happen afterwards, what will happen before, you know, I don't know. Um, how we will like get out of the class, contact families, you know, just in case it's too bad. Um, uh, duck cover roll. Um, make the buildings more stronger. I think we need maybe we need to be prepared and we need to have a kit. Yes, thank you. Oh my god, <sighs> it's a hard question. Yeah, does a eh? um, I think you should just uh. We should have more drills. Yes. And um, maybe make it more clear where the meeting spots are and stuff. And yeah. Thank you. Um, I think we should have more drills and like maybe upgrade our, um, what's it called? Buildings. Buildings and seats and tables so they like stick onto the ground or something. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you girls for your amazing ideas. Now Yasmin, what's your opinion? What can Rhea East learn from Christchurch earthquake? Well, Lee, I think that we can learn from it by making sure that every Ako class has an evacuation plan and that we know our surroundings. This was really bad in Christchurch because some schools weren't prepared for it. That's why it caused so much damage. What about you, Ayla? Well, Yasmin, I think we need to make sure we have enough canned food and water per class. Maybe each student could bring some canned food so there's enough for everyone. Also, it's really good to check the survival kit and make sure we have enough for everyone. And yourself, Lee? I really think East needs to have more earthquake drills. Just with new students coming in during the year, some of them won't know where to meet. And also, just to remind our fellow East girls, also we could have a poster in each class with a diagram showing where the meeting points of an earthquake. Thank you. Go. Thank you, guys! <laughs> Go now. <laughs> Loud, lucky lit. Go. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I'm looking at you. Wellington has been Again. predicted. Quiet! <laughs> Wellington has been predicted to. Oh. 